Because this is quite a big house and the panels are a long way from the inverter, a big part of the job and quite a tricky part of the job is actually stringing the cable from the panels to the inverter. Okay, one of the things we've had to decide on is where our cables are coming out onto the roof. Uh, just up in the top left hand corner, I've moved a tile out of the way and after discussing with the rest of the team, this is where we're going to do a penetration for my cables to come out. The reason I picked that spot, it's higher in the roof, so if I've got to get inside the roof, I've possibly got more room in there to move around in, plus it's making it a shorter distance for our cable, um, which we try to keep the cables as short as we possibly can. Okay, what I've got here, I've got my two DC cables from the positive and the negative, plus I've got an earth cable that we bring up as well. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm going to start and run these in the roof. I've got a, a spot down along the side near the gutter in the eave, so I can use my conduit here to just slip it along and run the cable through that part. Once I get to the corner here, down the bottom here, I will have to get inside the customer's house through their manhole and run the rest of the cable around to our um, our exit point underneath the panels. Uh, uh, as you saw earlier, I've uh, run the cables along the eaves on the outside in, in the uh, roof there, but now I've got to go inside the roof, so I've got to bring the cable across and out for our penetration. Uh, I'm going to actually clip my cables down with special clips that I clip it to the timbers inside the roof. Okay, so in I go. When we bring the cables up through the through the tile, we drill a hole in there, it's a 25mm hole we put in there, and then we pull the cables through it, but we put a sleeve over it of corrugated conduit, which is 25mm, so it's a fairly tight fit around it, but then we put a lot of silicon around and pat that down, and that actual penetration is actually done underneath the last uh, panel. So one, it's got silicon around it, it's, it's sealed off that way, and we've got a panel over the top of it. The chances of any water getting in there is we really don't have any issues with that, with water getting inside the roof around that, as long as we do the silicon and have it under the panel.